Alright, so we want to get into RPGs, alright? Um, I'm a huge RPG fan, so I know what games to pick if you want to start getting into RPGs. Because if you choose the wrong RPG, then, um, yeah, you won't be interested in it very much. So this is going to be a helpful video for you to start out um, playing RPGs. Alright, so you want to start on cartridges, because CD-based RPGs are mainly... Um, they're more difficult than to have like a longer story and stuff. I, like something with cartridge based ones. All right, so I've had a few recommendations for me to do this video since I'm a big RPG fan. All right, so um, you probably heard this a lot, but um, yeah, on Super Nintendo we got uh, Mario RPG. Um, this is a very fun RPG. Anyone can pick up and play it and beat uh, can beat it. So. Yeah, this is a good RPG to get into. Um, I don't recommend getting to games like Final Fantasy just yet. You just need this is a game that you just want to get the feel of an RPG and what you need to do to um, to do good. All right, and another RPG that you um, I recommend uh, getting would be Paper Mario, the Paper Mario series. This. Um, it's not difficult at all, you know, you don't need to really strategize your attacks, it's just like straightforward and everything. It's not too much uh, special or anything, but Paper Mario series I absolutely love. Of course, the Paper Mario uh, GameCube version, that's very fun. And of course, Paper Mario Sticker Star. So, yeah. Um, these games are great. Um, and, um... Yeah, I actually don't have Secret of Mana, but that's, uh, it's not exactly the RPG that would, um, well, that's a good starter RPG, too. But, um, yeah, it's not like when you face an enemy, it, it goes to the screen, and then you battle them. It could just, you just attack them. That's what my friend has said, and I, that's a great concept, because not many Super Nintendo RPGs do that. So, and also, you know, this is obvious, but these are great RPGs. The original Pokemon games. These are amazing. You know, Pokemon Diamond, Pokemon Heart Gold, Soul Silver, uh, Pokemon. No, the Pokemon Black is okay. But if you haven't played Pokemon much, then I recommend getting the first ones. Uh, you know, like Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. I really like Yellow because you can get all the starters in it. I love that game. And, uh, Pokemon Trading Card Game isn't an RPG, but it, after you get the feel for an RPG, this is a really good game to choose. You can get this for around, like, ten bucks at most. Um, yeah, basically, you're, you, uh, get a deck of cards, and you, every time you beat someone, you get two packs. And you can get legendaries, like Zapdos, and, uh, Mewtwo, Mew, and stuff, and it... It's really, really fun. Basically, um, just Pokemon trading card game. The real version is really fun. So if you have um, played the Pokemon, uh, if you've had Pokemon cards in the past and know how to play it, then you will definitely like that. For NES, this is a fairly common NES game. It's very cheap. I definitely recommend it. There's a lot of sequels to this. The sequels are pretty rare. But this is actually like a $3 game. And that happens to be Dragon Warrior. I haven't played much of this, but it's, um, for like two or three dollars if you can find this, then, well, of course you'll be able to find it because this is a very, very common game. Um, it'll be difficult to find the Dragon Warrior 2, 3, and 4, but for three dollars for an RPG, that's great. Um, I definitely recommend getting this. There's not many, you know, if you could find Final Fantasy on the NES, which is twenty, twenty-five dollar game, then, uh, yeah, you should get that, but, you know, Dragon Warrior, I've had that recommended, um, to me by a lot of people, that's a really good game. After you get the feel for it, you should go along and, um, either pick up this game or start playing the Final Fantasy games, which is Chrono Trigger, I absolutely love this RPG, it's, um, the attacks are, the attack animation is, is awesome, and the uh, kind of attacks are really, really good. So I definitely recommend getting Chrono Trigger. I don't know if I've updated my uh, value on this game, but last time it's only like a $45 game, like 50 bucks. So get an app before it goes up again. 
That was a couple. That was like two months ago. So, but yeah, um, definitely get make uh, Final Fantasy two and three. Um, it's not exactly. They're not exactly cheap. It's not. It's hard to find really good RPGs that are cheap. So yeah, that's gonna be the problem if you're gonna get into RPGs, finding them for cheap. Final Fantasy two goes for around 25, 30 bucks, which isn't too bad considering it's an amazing RPG. Um, my RPG. This is gonna be. Uh, it's it's common slash uncommon, but this um, it's around a forty dollar game, so you find it for thirty thirty five bucks, and that's good. And then of course you know got so for Sega Genesis. There's not many RPGs for Sega Genesis, but Shining in the Darkness. Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I should recommend this because I haven't played this. So, after, you should do some research on this game first, because I haven't yet, so. Oh, where did that game go? Alright, I'm just going to say it. Alright, Albert Odyssey on the Sega Saturn. If you're looking to have a good laugh, then definitely play it. If you're just, it, yeah, you, just, you should get it. If you can find it for $50 or under. Because 80 to 100 like around $100 to pay for it is a little you know, high, um, but some of these are, um, these are for the PS1, I haven't actually played it all too much, so people have mixed opinions about this, but of course, you know, Final Fantasy 7, um, you can find this, Greatest Hits, for like 15 bucks, um, I could be wrong, because I, I'm not a serious PS1 collector. I have a lot more information about cartridge-based ones, so that, and I really liked. Um, I'm still liking Final Fantasy VIII. All right, I haven't played much of it. Um, yeah, I mean, if you're young like me, then I don't know if you're like if you like first-person shooters, then you probably get used to like Resident Evil. But you know, um, Parasite Eve. This is a horror RPG, so yeah. Um, it's still pretty fun though. Um, yeah, so I, um, I've only put a couple hours into it, so yeah, I will be uh, getting more RPGs though. Um, for the PS2, if you're looking for some really good, decent ones, um, Final Fantasy X has definitely been a really high recommended one. I haven't played this yet because I get so many games I need to finish, like. Um, yeah, I just start. I need to uh, finish Final Fantasy three and stuff. You know, you know Final Fantasy twelve. Um, it hasn't got as many recommendations as Final Fantasy X, but you know, um, yeah. Um, ooh, I don't know if I, if this should be a good starter, but this these two are definitely uncommon PS two games. There's they're gonna be hard to find. And I don't know what their prices are on it, but I got them for fairly cheap. And um, this is a, vu a futuristic RPG. I say if you've played one or two RPGs, then this is good for you. Not a late RPG. Well, it's good for, like, um, if you play a couple RPGs and if you played a lot of RPGs. So definitely recommend this one, Xenosaga, uh, any of the Xenosagas. I haven't played uh, all of them, but um, that one has been very good for me. Uh, Shining Force Neo, it gets confusing at first. Um, it's like it's hard to defeat this enemy. Um, I haven't gotten very far in it, so yeah. Um, I'll go with the easier RPGs. You know, Paper Mario RPG, um, that and Super Mario RPG are the ones to go to first, and then I recommend probably going to. Um, uh, let's see, probably the, or like the Pokemon one, and then I recommend, um, picking up Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 2 and 3, um, Secret Man is a good first RPG also, but yeah, so that's my video on RPGs that I recommend, hope you enjoy the video, so yeah, please thumbs up, for some reason I got a lot of trolls, I, you know, they, trolls, bad, so yeah, don't be a troll. Don't be a troll. So thanks, YouTube. Bye.